the noise of the alarm cut through the peaceful darkness of sleep like wind heralding a winter storm. I reached over to smack the snooze button and hit the bedside table. I'd been up half the night, so I'd moved the alarm to my dresser to prevent snooze abuse. Once I'd lurched across the room to stop the grating sound, I was upright and might as well shower and get it over with. I refused to look at myself in the bathroom mirror. During those first foggy minutes of morning, I could keep being the person I'd seen blurrily during the late, dark hours when I was alone and safe. I wanted to be myself for a little while longer. Under the hot stream of water, I kept my eyes closed. It felt like I was washing someone else's body. Even after sixteen years, I had moments where I couldn't understand how I got here or how such a mistake could have been made. I knew what I was, and this tall, angular body was not that. As I scrubbed, I flip-flopped on my decision to talk to my best friend and sort of girlfriend. Sort of, because Claire was dating the version of me that didn't really exist. I liked her enough that I felt bad about deceiving her maybe more than anyone else. And I guess that's one reason why I decided to tell her first. I'd tried to tell two other friends years ago, but one stopped talking to me, and the other laughed so hard I said I'd been kidding. Maybe I should have stopped trying to tell anyone, but the truth welled up in me so thickly I couldn't hold it back much longer. Like every other morning that winter, it was dark outside when I woke up, and the window barely hinted at light when I got out of the shower. Time to confront the dozens of outfits that I could wear but didn't want to. Worn down by years of dressing up as a boy, I'd pared my clothing options down to three basic outfits. Jeans and t-shirt, jeans and sweater, Jeans and button-down shirt, for days when I was supposed to look dressy. But what do you wear to tell your girlfriend that the boy she's dating is really a girl inside? Grandma M. had sent me a cashmere sweater two Christmases ago that I hoped would give me some courage. I loved the softness of it, even if the olive color wasn't one I'd pick for myself. It made my skin look gray. I put it on, ran my fingers through my hair, and went down to get cereal. 